Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 14 box Ant-Man Mixer. Giving away that Anthony Edwards right here. It is right here. Big game for him tonight. Losing effort, but a big game personally for Anthony Edwards. That's a PSA 10. Two out of eight. And guess what? We only ended up selling eight spots outright. Two of those eight are going to get free spots. So big thanks to the people who bought full spots. There you go. So there's all the full spots, and that's a total of eight. So that's our first dice roll. Top two of those eight. Top two after 12 will get extra spots. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth and final time. After 12, Ryan and Dan, extra spots going your way. After 12. In fact, they're right down here. But it wasn't the last spot mojo spot for Ryan. Hmm. Alright, there's Ryan and Dan. There you go. So extra spots going your way, a little buy one, get one action for you. All 30 teams are in. And let's roll it and randomize names and teams. Four and a five. Nine times each for the break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got Oliver down to Ryan. And then four and a five, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and once more, ninth and final time, we got Clippers down to Mavs. All right, Oliver with the Clippers, Kaim with the Pacers, Ryan with the Grizz, Dan with the Spurs, Jeremy with the Pelicans, Dan with the Blazers, Brian with the Thunder, Jeremy with the Raptors, Simon with the Hornets, Tim with the Cavs, Matt with the Sixers, Tim with the Magic, Ryan with the Suns, Eugene with the Knicks, Enoch with the Bulls, Dan with the Jazz, Barry with the Hawks, Eugene with the Wizards, Pascal with the Kings, Joe with the Heat, Tim with the Bucks, Dylan with my Lakers, Eugene with the Nuggets, Ryan, Last Spot Mojo, Brooklyn Nets, Nancy with the Warriors, Eugene with the Timberwolves, Jeremy with the Celtics, Ryan with the Rockets, Simon with the Pistons, and Ryan with that extra spot that you won, the Dallas Mavericks. Let's alphabetize by team, and I will pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, I'll have the boxes all set up on the uh, table here. Um, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. A tiny bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done, so good luck here in the Jaspies 14-box Ant-Man Mixer on a Sunday, the 12th. Nuggets taking two in Minnesota. So the road team's been winning that series. All right, so we've got all the box. We did a count right here. I'll do it on the recording as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're going to run through these uh, collegiate cards first. I'm going to open up all of these at once, actually. Got some uh, got some PGA Tour golf on in the background. The replay of it, we know, we know who's uh, we know who won already. This is a tape delay.
Speaking of golf, Oliver, I've been, I've been in the lab the last couple weeks just working on some things. I think I'm figuring some things out, I hope. Yes, the next week is the PGA Championship, Ryan, and that's why it's always annoying when Rory does that. I know, it's, he's, he's going into it with good momentum. But this was a field that did not include Scotty Scheffler. So there's also that. Scotty Scheffler is still waiting on his first child. So he's missed the last couple tournaments just waiting for that to happen. But the PGA Championship is coming up soon. I suppose by tomorrow we'll have a better idea of whether he's going to be in that field or not. At some point, maybe you think, maybe you think you have to, I don't know, I, I, don't, uh, I don't have a child of my own, so I don't know how this works, but can you kind of make it happen? Is, are there safety concerns over that? Oliver, do you, do you have any, can you weigh in on that? Are there, uh, are there safety concerns of inducing a pregnancy early? I mean, there, it's, it's within the time, it's been nine months, it's in the, it's in the time frame. I know, that just drives me bananas, Ryan. Yeah, last time Rory won at Quail Hollow with the major, the next week he won, the, with the major the next week, he won the major. Yeah. I mean, I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to sprinkle a little bit of, a little bit of a, maybe a quarter unit on Rory to win it. I'll do positionals though, top five, top ten maybe. This card's a little slippery here. All right, so I think all card ships. So all of these collegiate cards will go to the team. Um, we'll use our college rules. We'll go to their team that they uh, have played for the longest. All right, we've got something happening here already. We've got Michael Foster Jr., Sensational Signatures. Twelve out of 50. I have no idea where Michael Foster Jr. goes. Michael Porter Jr., I know. Michael Foster Jr. is not in the NBA. He's with the uh, Canrejeros de Sunturce of the Baloncesto Superior Nacional, a basketball league in Puerto Rico. But I guess he was with the Sixers the longest. That's the team he was drafted by, so that's where we'll send him. That's going to go to Matt. All right, and there's 26 out of 50, Zach Eady, who's not drafted yet. I mean, he's going to be drafted next year. All right, so here's what we're going to do with these. We're going to, we're going to bundle these up into one team or, and give them away to one team. There's Anthony Davis, so there'll be a non-pro team randomizer at the end. In fact, to make it easy, it'll just be the consolation prize for when we do the um, Anthony Edwards randomizer. It'll just be spot number two. There's Jaden Ivey. That's going to go to the piston. That's going to go to Simon. Nice. Had a good week out of the bunker. Seven. 
diet until it gets right there. Got a couple OKC guys here. Chet Holmgren rookie card. Victor Wembanyama didn't exist. He he might be rookie of the year. This is gonna go to Brian and OKC. And then we got Santa Clara Jalen Williams. Also really making a name for himself in the postseason. Rookie card. And that's rookie Paolo Bancaro. That's going to go to Orlando, of course. Tim with the magic. Nikola Jovic, purple, 24 out of 50. Oh, and an autograph behind him. That's Oshai Baji. Uh, that, I think he's a Jazz. 24 out of 50. Well, I guess he's with the Raptors now, but he played for the Jazz the longest, so send him there. Or actually, no, we'll send him to the team he's currently on. Those <laughs> jamming myself up here. It's a, uh, if it's a player that's, uh, so this will go to Toronto. That's going to be for Jeremy. If the player was retired or not in the league, then he would go to the team played for the longest. Keegan Murray will go to Sacramento. Atlanta with the number one overall pick. I know, just jamming myself up, Ryan. I haven't, I haven't done... A no checklist break in a little bit. They're Shaden Sharp, 27 out of 50. It's a nice one for Portland. Got AJ Griffin, 1 out of 20. I think he's Atlanta. AJ Griffin is a, is a hawk. What are they going to do with that number one overall pick? I know it's still early, but what we do know is that Atlanta will be the most expensive team in 25 in 2024-25 product. We'll know that right away. But let's see who they get. There's Jalen Williams. There's the other Jalen Williams. There's Jalen Duran. And there's Nate Lazuski. Twenty six out of fifty. I think he might be. I think he might still be in college. No, he he went undrafted, and he has no association with a NBA team. He went undrafted, and then he went to the New Basket Brindisi of the uh, of the Italian league. So he'll he'll go along with Zach Eady and uh, among others. There's Jalen Duran. It's AJ Griffin. What's up, Andrew? Do I think do you actually think Lakers could ever uh, They shouldn't, but I think they actually they actually would. That's what I'm saying. 
which they shouldn't. I don't think they're going to be silly enough to burn because I think the Pelicans can, they have the Lakers pick and they can either use the pick this year or defer until next year. And there's uh, Jimmy Beheim. Um, I can't imagine that the Lakers would use a first round pick on Bronny. Would they use a second round pick on him? Maybe. I think Beheim's still in. A, is his dad Jim Beheim the coach? He is. Um, no, I think he's still in college. So that'll be part of that non pro team group over there. This Mac Christie. To 50, we'll go to... Lakers really need guys like Max Christie and Jalen hood Shafino to really start to really show up. Because they don't really... They can't... They're kind of stuck. They really don't have a lot of moves they can make short of trading away guys like Austin Reeves or Max Christie or whatever. We're going to leave these over there. All right. Everything else should be pro unis. Let's go Mosaic Fast Break. From uh, 22 23. Let's go old and then new. Let's go 21 22. Fast break. Cra yeah. Now, what you can do in the NBA is uh, you can buy second round picks. You can buy your way into the second round. Not in the first round, but you can just straight up pay cash for second round pick. So Lakers might do something like that. Ideally, I wouldn't mind if listen, if Bronny goes undrafted, I wouldn't mind just picking him up as an undrafted free agent. That would be the ideal situation. But he's not really a second round pick. <laughs> he's a stretch at a second round pick. I think he's intending to go pro. But I can't imagine another team burning a pick on Bronny at any point. Only two rounds, picks are precious. Now, to make his pops happy and put him on a G League team, you know, undrafted free agent, sure. And let Bronny marinate for two or three seasons. Let him, you know. I wouldn't mind that. I'm okay with that. To spend a pick on him, though? But I don't know. Lakers have to find a coach first. There's been some talk about Lakers trying to get Trey Young, but I don't know if that's the, if that's going to do it. Jay Crowder, 63 out of 85. Kaminga, Suggs. Yeah, I mean, listen. I mean, he's he's Bronny's kid. The the talent is is there, you know. But here's Jamal Crawford. Fast break Knicks edition. It's gonna go to uh, Eugene. But is the NBA good? You know, I mean, yeah. Bronny's okay for the South Bay Lakers, exactly. I'm sure he'll put butts in seats in El Segundo at the practice center. You know, it's gonna be fine. But it might, it's going to take a little bit of work. He's a little small. I mean, so what's what's his upside? Is a sort of an undersized guard, like a six six one guard, maybe? How how tall is he? And his his younger brother is supposed to be supposed to be better. He's actually supposed to. I think Bryce 
is his name. But I think he's actually supposed to be like the, hey, that guy could be, you know, late first round pick. Depending, maybe more depending on how college goes. But I think there's, he's got a little more size and a little more heft to him. And has a maybe a better shot of being a part of the NBA. There's Trey Murphy at 85, Pelicans, Scotty Barnes, National Pride for Toronto, that's gonna to be for Jeremy. Trey Murphy will go to the Pels, that'll be for Jeremy. Franz Wagner, Orlando Magic, Tim. There's Josh Giddy, Purple Rookie, 9 out of 50. More Scotty Barnes, his NBA debut, Scotty Barnes. Quentin Grimes. Rookie Hollow. And Evan Mobley. Rookie card in that uh, in the fast break pattern there. I think I saw a great story about Quentin Grimes. Yeah, his his mom um, has uh, has two kids, different dads, but two kids from different marriages, right? Uh, one of them, Ty Tyler Meyer, who's in the NHL, and Quentin Grimes in the NBA. Imagine, imagine that. Two of your sons in the pros. Here's 2022-23 Mosaic Fast Break. But that's a cool story, Mother's Day. All right, here's another fast break mosaic. We've advanced a year. So we had, we had two playoff games today. I really didn't watch much of the early game. But Knicks cruised against the Pacers 121 to 89. Knicks only managed 14 points in the first quarter and they've played catch up ever since. Jalen Brunson only 18 points, 0 for 5 from three. No one else. Not too many double digits everywhere. Uh, Miles McBride had 16 points and Alec Burks had 20 points, but that's it. A lot of, a lot of single digits in points here. That's not going to help. A lot of minuses on the plus minus. Dante DiVincenzo played 30 minutes, had a minus 45, 40 on the plus minus. That's not good. A lot of pluses on the uh, Pacers side. Siakam had a nice game. Miles Turner plus 24. Halliburton plus 31 had 20 points, six rebounds, five assists. TJ McConnell a plus 27, 15 points, 10 assists, two steals, six rebounds, and just 21 minutes of work. Bad day at the office for the New York Knicks. 
that that series is now tied 2-2. All right, next Mosaic fast break box. Good luck there. Speaking of Jalen Brunson, there he is. And we've got Osmani Dieng. Fast break auto for OKC. That will be for Brian and the Thunder. There's Tyrese Halliburton. Nice game for him. There's Jalen Duran. Got a Chet Holmgren rookie card. 31 out of 85. Blue fast break pattern. Brian Thunder. Nice. Here you go. We'll, we'll give it a color match as well. Jalen Williams, Jabari Smith Jr. Tari Eason, 30 out of 50 for the Rockets. It's going to go to Ryan Harold in Houston. We'll get those Jabari Smith Juniors, etc. Bones Highland, 3 out of 20 for the Clippers. That's going to be for Oliver. Shaden Sharp. Portland, one of those teams, been collecting, you know, high round draft picks over the years. They may put something together. Pistons may put something together. Of course, Pistons fans not happy with the fifth overall pick. I know some have some have suggested maybe maybe trading out of that pick. Sorry, I thought that was Evan Mobley. Sorry, Isaiah. There's Jalen Duran. And introductions, Paolo Bancaro. Insert Tim, the magic. All right, now let's move into, uh, this is, This must be 23-24. This must be Prism Retail, right? Yes, two box of 2023-24 Prism Basketball Retail Edition. Uh, what are we looking for? Possible autographs. Pink Pulsar Prisms would be your exclusive in retail, all right. You can vote in our poll. I'm a little knee-jerk reaction after the Nuggets beat the Timberwolves tonight. Who wins the series? So far, people have 64% uh, are saying the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, they looked they looked good today. Or did they? Timberwolves definitely delivered a really balanced effort here, in a way. A lot of guys in double digits. Anthony Edwards had 44 points. You can't have 13 points from Carl Anthony Towns. you got to have a little bit more than that. He did have 12 rebounds, though. The plus minuses weren't too terrible. It's just that, it's just that Nuggets were just a little bit better tonight. Jokic had 35 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, a few steals. 
Aaron Gordon went off, 11 for 12. 27 points, seven rebounds, six assists. Coming up big in key plays, a steal, a couple blocks. Michael Porter Jr. only four points. Jamal Murray only 19 points, but but uh, they're just a little bit better. I think they're. I think the Nuggets bench outscored the Timberwolves bench by a decent amount. There are some lopsided numbers there, so stuff that stuff that the Timberwolves need to clean up, maybe tighten up a little bit on defense too. That's the key for them. With the playoffs, any dust off? Players, Rex is asking. Yeah, who are some players that we should dust off? Some players that maybe, maybe kind of unsellable rookie cards, or maybe dollar, two dollar rookie cards that may have increased in value a little bit over. In this game, I can't really see anyone just right off the top. I guess Anthony Edwards was is always a key rookie, but. He's even more key now. I think his value's been going up pretty pretty steadily. We always like to see if there's any, especially with basketball. There's always like players who you who you eventually have to, you know, that we're sitting in a shoebox somewhere that you're eventually like have to end up dusting off and being like, wait a second, these guys are actually good. Jalen Brunson would have been that player a couple years ago. I think it was always about Luka in that 2018 draft class when we're for the Mavs. But Jalen Brunson emerged as that player a couple years ago. It's already too late now, but. Looking at the Knicks. I don't know. I mean, maybe if there's like a Villanova fan, maybe like the, the Brunson, Hart, and DiVincenzo combo, maybe people might be looking for those rookies. You know, Knicks fans who are also Villanova fans might want to collect those three guys. Not really seeing anyone from the Pacers. Halliburton, but that's already a season or two too late to dust him off. I think people already get it now. Trying to look at Celtics Cavs. I think there's really anyone there. Derek White, maybe? I don't know if Derek White moves the needle in the hobby, though. We got an instant impact. Amen Thompson. Nice. That'll be for uh, Ryan in Houston. Yeah, Rivers thinking a Thunder guy. I'm looking at the Cavs. I don't really see anyone jump off the page there. I mean, obviously, they have solid rookies. The, the, the usuals are there, but in terms of... Guys that were drafted maybe a season or two ago, and we're like, hey, wait a second. Oh, it's Brandon Miller. Like, hey, wait a second. That guy's actually playing well. His value is going up. We've seen that happen a lot. Like a, a dollar rookie who ends up being a $10, $15, $20 $10, rookie card player. We've seen it happen. Simon with Charlotte. Anthony Black, Emergent Silver. And then we got a Timberwolf coming up. It's Leonard Miller. Uh, rookie Silver. There's a Sewer Thompson for Detroit. Scoot for Portland. That'll be for Dan. The sewer will go to Simon in Detroit. PJ Washington, that's a that's a decent name. Yeah, the, uh, the other night, 40 minutes, 27 points, six rebounds, and a couple assists. Not sure if I can officially dust him off yet, but he puts together, you know, some more games like this. He's been a great addition to that team. Yeah, seven and eight here. On, on the backside, you got 14 and 
He's a good fit. Nice Wembenyama. It's just a, it's just an insert, but instant impact. Then, I mean, anything with Victor Wembenyama's name on it seems to be pretty popular. Dan Hudson got randomized the Spurs. Go Dan. Desmond Bain, Silver, and an Eric Gordon. One more retail box. Can anyone think of any uh, old rookie cards that we should start dusting off because they've increased in value? We're talking about guys that are maybe, you know, maybe two or three drafts ago that were maybe uh, not super desirable, but maybe are desirable now, or at least more desirable. Again, we're thinking guys like maybe like Tyrese Halliburton. Obviously, it's too late to dust him off now, but like, but you know, maybe in like, you know, when he was drafted, when he was a king, a Sacramento king, and people were just like, eh. But he's really coming to his own as a pacer. Miles well, McBride maybe has had a boost. Ryan says no. There are no dust off players right now. No players to dust off. Maybe Deuce? Are we talking about Jason Tatum's kid? I think it'll be a while before we see his rookie cards. Nikhil Alexander. Oh, I see. Na is Nikhil Alexander Walker instead of an emphatic no. I did not realize that that's how he was glossed. Um, yeah, could be someone. Has his value been going up? Jalen Brunson is a great example of this exercise. 2018, he was basically not, he was basically not Luca. But I think with, with each season that went by, his value started creeping higher and higher. For those of you who are in our 2018 basketball breaks, you might have some, you know, Jalen Brunson's laying around somewhere. Induces Mc... Induce McBride is, is... Is he a Roman numeral? Is his dad Miles McBride? He's Miles McBride Jr. And <laughs> Nikhil Alexander Walker should actually change his last name from to to Nikhil Walker Alexander. Then it might be, you know, a fun little nickname. Derek Lively looking lively in the playoffs a little bit, starting to. Ryan with Dallas. They are cousins. Nikhil Alexander Walker and Miles McBride are cousins? That I did not know. I knew that Shay, Gilgis Alexander, and Nikhil Alexander Walker were, were cousins. I didn't realize that Miles McBride are in there as well. There's Chet Howard, Rookie Silver. Yeah, him and Shea, I know, are cousins. By way of Walker.
but you can find some deals on Mike Conley and Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, someone in the chat earlier was saying that that they were able to pick up Carl Anthony Towns stuff for for pennies was the quote. Oh, like at the I was like I looked at Ryan's chat and he was like, I played with Shay and Nikhil at Virginia Tech and I was like, Oh. I did not know that. But he was like, no, like at the gym, not like at the collegiate level. <laughs> it's like maybe the age doesn't doesn't match up there. It'd be amazing though. Got a Marcus Sasser, rookie silver. All right, and there's a Mitchich. Now let's get into 2020. Let's go back in time a little bit to 2020, 2021, Anthony Edwards draft class. Here's a couple hybrid boxes. But confirm, Deuce is Miles McBride's nickname. All right. Like 2020, this year would be a good year to find out who like the, you know, who like the, uh, the quote unquote dust off players are. Whose rookies are we dusting off from older products? Stuff that maybe in a monster box or a shoe box been sitting there for a little bit. All right, onwards. I really want to know Joe's opinion of Max Christie. Um, before, before the season started, here's Desmond Bain rated rookie Red Pulsar. I declared to Nick Jaspi, Max Christie will be an all-star this year. I thought he was really going to get a lot of minutes. Clearly that did not happen. He's shown some glimpses. Nice Anthony Edwards. Rated rookie, base. That's Eugene with the Timberwolves. I don't know. The Lakers can't, Lakers aren't gonna be able to make a lot of moves in the off season, I think. So I hope that they can give him, I hope he takes it to the next level. I hope he evolves. You know, and becomes a borderline starter at the very least. So, oh, in, in terms of the hobby? That's a good question. I can't imagine Max Christie prices are very high, so what's the point of selling super low, you know? It's either going to be low or lower, right? So, you, I mean, if you have the space, you may as well just throw in the back of a drawer and someday you might hear me say, someday you might hear me say, hey, dust off your Max Christie's. And then you can be like, oh yeah, I put those, threw those in the back of a drawer. Right, they're not high, so why, why sell? You know, it's like selling Bitcoin at, at 15, right? when you bought in at a much higher price. You may as well just hold on to it. Here's Lamello. But I can't imagine Max Christie's were ever that high, so you may as well just hold on to him, see what happens. He might get traded, actually. I mean, if the Lakers are, look, are that desperate to really get, like, you know, stars on their team, you know, guys like Austin Reeves and Max Christie might be trading pieces for somebody. Oh wow, Ryan's been seeing Kristaps Porzingis's for five times from where when you bought them. All right, let's go into Crown Royale. And 
Yeah, I would hold on to it. I saw him in summer league. He's a pretty good player, but you know, it's like he needs to play to to develop. I think at this point, I don't think G League is really going to help him. He just needs to play NBA basketball to help, but I just don't think he's going to have time or space in the Lakers organization to really how to really for that to really happen. Jalen Johnson, Chris Paul. Here's Miles McBride. We were just talking about him. Rookie die cut for the Knicks. That's going to go to Eugene. We've got Siakam, Kai Jones, and we got a D. Wade snow globe. Not numbered. He's like that dude from the Warriors. Oh, that Pazem Brandon Pazemski? Who just got some playing time and really emerged? Kaminga, maybe? Yeah, just needs just need playing time. It's like Max Christie's like a quadruple A guy, right? Or he's just like just not gonna do him any good playing in triple A. You know, but he's just gotta play some bat some NBA games and just that's where his development is there. It's Kobe Brown, 58 out of 75 for Oliver and the Clippers. We got Cade Cunningham. This is 2023. We got Leonard Miller, Jimmy Butler. There's Brandon Pazemski. We were just talking about him. Rookie die cut. Nancy with the Warriors. The bottom card should be the relic. Yes, it is. Heirs to the throne, Colby Jones. Rookie relic for the Sacramento Kings. It's going to go to Pascal. It's a little crinkly on the penny sleeve over here, Nancy. Cleaner. All right, behind Scotty Barnes is Kaysen Wallace. Rookie jersey and auto, rookie silhouettes, 41 out of 99 for OKC, which will be for Brian. All right, the last box coming up, 14th box of the break. For a second, I thought Kaysen Wallace got his own like, you know how like Kobe has his own like authentication sticker? For a second I thought Case and Wallace had that. I was like, what? It's just, no, it's, it's on all the cards. But I was just like, wait a second, it doesn't have that. All right, final one, 22-23. Bancaro on the box, select basketball. Three autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. Good luck. Tie-dye possibilities as well, those are always fun. And good luck, this break took a little bit longer than I thought, but I don't think we have anything sold out, so I don't know if there's any rush. Yeah, I would love for, it's just not going to happen with LeBron on my Lakers, but I would just love to see like guys like Max Christie and Jalen hood Shafino and you know, a couple other youngsters really just get real NBA time. But Lakers are desperate to get like a third star. I don't know who they're going to get, but to get somebody, I may as well just play those guys. And LeBron doesn't have time for that. That's the blessing and the curse of LeBron James. Blessing is you get LeBron James. The curse is you have LeBron James. All right. 
Good luck, everybody. Got a blank right here. We got Colin Sexton to 249 for Dan and the Jazz. Nikola Jokic. There's a Paolo Bancaro rookie card for Orlando. That's going to go to Tim. Premier level. Another Paolo Bancaro. And that is concourse level. All those have different levels of short printedness. Some of them shorter than others. Jalen Brunson, Benedict Matherin, Nemhard. Our first hit out of here is Ja Morant, Selective Swatches. Just kind of putting some things together before he got hurt. Ryan with the with the Grizz. And there's Anthony Simons at 299 for Portland. Jake LaRavia, Jokic, RJ Barrett, Shaden Sharp. And the, this hit is going to be Grant Williams, jersey and autograph, X Factor jersey and auto for Boston. And it's going to be for Jeremy and the Celtics. One ninety seven out of one ninety nine. There's a Devin Booker die cut fifteen out of two forty nine. What are the Suns gonna do? Suns need a well, I think they got their manager, right? They got they got uh Budenholzer, I think, is they're gonna be their coach. I don't know if that's been official yet. And we got Amari Sotomayor, speaking of the Suns. Nine out of 25, tie-dye. Love that tie-dye look. In-flight autograph, Ryan Harold, Phoenix Suns. What are the Suns gonna do? They're kind of, they kind of turned themselves into the Lakers. A little top-heavy, not enough depth, not enough defense. You know, and, and. Aging star and Kevin Durant. All right, nothing too crazy here, but maybe fly, fly into the suns. Here's a quick little recap. But listen, we got one big hit remaining that everyone has a chance at. I can't say that. In, I can't say that for every break. It's the Anthony Edwards massive hit. And all teams have a chance at this massive hit. That's not always the case with group breaks, right? It's just a handful of teams that have some great rookies you want to chase, and that's it. But this one, everyone has a chance at it. That's what makes these giveaway breaks so great. Thanks for getting in, everybody. Appreciate you. Consolation Prize, spot two, we'll get these, uh, these college player cards. Okay. Let's flip back to the list. So there's everybody's names right there. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 30. New dice, new list, name on top, gets the Ant-Man after 7, 4 and a 3, fingers crossed everybody, 4 and a 3, 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7th and final time, after 7. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. So spot two, a little consolation prize, you get those extra cards. Hopefully they turn into all-stars in the future. Nancy, not, 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 not what you wanted, but appreciate you trying. Name on top though, sad times for everybody here, but name on top, happy times for Kaim. 
won a spot back in the crown filler number one, got into the break. I don't think I called your name out all break. You had the pacer. I mean, there were some, some Nemhards and some Matherins. Nothing too significant there, but but the significant, significant hit right here. Happy times are kind. Congrats, man. Thanks for getting in. Enjoy it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep your eye out for more stuff like this uh, and, you know, giveaway mixers like this, all sorts of fun things. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next mixer. Bye-bye.